Hi everyone, I wanted to take a second and talk about file structure and how we should be naming our files. Um, this is just an example. Uh, this is this this page in Dreamweaver because I developed your class in Dreamweaver and I'd like to just briefly just show you the file structure for this class. This is not something that you could see as a student in the class, but this is this is how the file structure of your course or what I often tell instructors or other students kind of like you know the back door of your course. So the root file um, let me give myself a little bit more space. Um, so the root file that I have is just named, you know, the name of our course. It's just, you know, I hover my mouse over and it kind of shows you where where it's saved. Um, actually, I could bring up um, the actual, I'm going to bring up your actual course, the root file. This is just an example of some of the courses that I'm working on as an instructional designer for Webster. But I actually put all of the course files in a server folder. So this is what the file structure looks like um, on my in my folder full folder structure within my computer, and Dreamweaver organizes it as you see here, as we were just looking at. But anyways, so whenever we get ready to FTP our sites, you know you're going to basically be FTPing. You're taking all of the files for the entire course and pushing those up uh, into the internet. Anyway, so back to file structure. So the root level, uh, I, I don't label the folder root. I mean, most people don't. They label it descriptively because they might be working on multiple sites, but um, it is just co-op2120. And then these are all the folders that I have at the root at the root level. The only files that I have at the root level is I have an image for the footer. That's that uh, kind of orange line that you see at the bottom of your of the course on the home page. And then the content icons, these are just the icons that are next to the learning modules that you see on the home page. And then this is the banner, the co-op banner. So at the root level, we have all of these different folders. Common folders that you'll have in your sites, you might, you'll probably have an images folder. These are the images that I use often in the course. And then here's the web development lifecycle images. But within each of the weeks, I have a specific images folder too. I'm not expect thinking that you're going to be organizing your your sites within as weeks. What I'm thinking you're going to be having is you're going to be having, um, like I said, you're going to have maybe an images folder, an include folder. In the include folder, you'll have things like your CSS and your JavaScript. These are the CSS and Java that we use, the JavaScript that we use that I use for this class. And then you would then at the root level, you'd have all of your website pages. And again, those are supposed to be named descriptively. For example, let's look at this is week five, so let's look at how I labeled this page. So this is five, three. So what I did was, I have all of these pages labeled sequentially um, based on the week and then the sequence within the week. And then um, I descriptively name the file as well. So this is developing file structure. Notice that I'm using underscores, there's no spaces. Notice that I'm also use, not using capital letters. When I talk about making our code uh, effective and efficient, those are some of the things that are, are very important to make sure that your code effectively communicates with the server uh, the way that it should. Same thing with all your pages. By having spaces in your file names, that then go, communicates to the browser, and the browser has to fill that in with uh, um, a percentage sign and an off it just can cause you know trouble um, so anyways at the root level you would be having file uh, HTML files that way and um, let's see and then maybe you might have uh, a data files folder or something that you would have videos or other things in if you have lots of videos in your site maybe you would have a specific folder for videos just like we have a specific folder for images maybe a resources uh, folder that you would have other maybe in a resources folder you might have your folders for your author I mean your files for your author like pages of the book or something um, so anyways that just gives you an example of uh, the f setting up your file structure naming your files uh, be sure that you ask everybody in the class if you have questions about this uh, but again you know root level at the root level you're gonna have specific file at the root level and then you might have an include folder, you might have an images folder. Um, and then Dreamweaver 
helps you uh, link all those files together through um, the advantages of using the IDE. Um, the advantages of using the IDE will, will help you link everything together in terms of paths. Because if you look at the code here, like um, my CSS uh, is in the include folder, like I talked about. But we have, since I have this file within uh, the week five folder, I have to direct Drew Mover to go outside of the week five folder and access the include folder to get to them in CSS. Same thing with the JavaScript. Same thing with well, the images. This image actually, since it's within the, so, yeah, I just noticed that I have this image in the wrong folder. It's supposed to be in the week five folder. I can fix that real quick. That's interesting. So now that I move this image here within this images folder. I can then update where the image is coming from to week five. Thanks for helping me catch that. Now I can go back to the code and show you. So now the images, the, the simple file structure image is not having to go outside of the week five folder and into the week six folder to get that image. So it, in theory, that would make the page load that much more faster. The user would be able to get the image that much faster. Anyways, um, let me know if you have any questions. Um, this week we're working on our file structures and getting everything set up with our um, file name, uh, file names and stuff like that. Um, I look forward to continually to continuing to help you uh, work on your term project. So let me in the class know. Have a good day.